any time like I glance over and I think that Pitt's about to do something naughty, yep. I'm just... He, um, <laughs> with you that close, you you get a sense that he's afraid of you. Oi. Yeah. Um, and you feel a, 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 you see a familiar kind of like flash, like glaze come over Pitt's face and he kind of stumbles back a bit and uh, he looks over to you um, completely bewildered. And then from then on, Milo, he is playing softball after that. <laughs> um, no, he seems to have like, a, yeah, a, a sort of a fear or a respect or something, but he knows that you're watching whenever you are watching. Mm-hmm. Um, well, found a bunch of cool it, potions. What, what is this place? Uh, I have no idea. Some sort of evil lair. On the finished shelf as well, you see a couple of other um, elixirs that have been named. So there's one that says Juggernaut, one that says Quicksilver, and one that says um, Lovers. Um, there is references to something called Slipstream. If you can help me track down these books, they are missing, long overdue, yada yada. And <laughs> Calamitous Cauldrons, Advanced Alchemy by Professor Frank Boyle. Eventually, you stop at door one and <sighs> it flicks. The lock pops open um, and you hear the door of the dormitory open. I'll I'll, I'll quickly grab it. Inside you see um, a couple of small flasks that contain like a sort of mercurial liquid in it. But there's also a couple of books in here and you see the spine of one of them is Calamitous Cauldron's Advanced Alchemy. So after the first, uh, after the events of the first couple of weeks begin to cool off um, uh, for you three, um, you two begin to settle into more of a routine at the academy. So um, the initial heat of everything that sort of stormed around your entry in here is is starting to kind of like do we gradually fade into comfortable bit. obscurity? Yeah, like yeah. The, nobody gives a shit about us anymore. Oh, come week three, God. you had a lot of notoriety coming into it, but um, after a while, people start to focus on their their studies and mm. focus on their exams. And you know, you're still sort of recognised now around the get academy. some glances, but yeah, yeah. Honestly, um, uh, I don't know how your characters would be, but I think Kellen is just absolutely grateful for that. So I actually wanted to. Um, I actually wanted to start off this session with like a bit of like downtime activities for you guys to be able to sort of like catch up with some of the other stuff that you're you're doing um, around the academy. Um, I know that like you know things so far have moved pretty like beat to beat, pretty much day on day on day on, which is not really a sustainable pace for like <laughs> the whole thing. So um, we're going to kind I'm of playing like... this semester out in real time. What are you yeah. talking about? That's yeah. what actual play means. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> God. Um, so, so we will kind of like do some jumps here and there as, as things move through, but in that mm. time, like there's still stuff happening and that's kind of like what we can explore with some of the downtime, um, mm. uh, activities. Um, so there are kind of like four pillars of your downtime, which are like study obviously is, is a big one. Mm. Um, there's your ex- extracurricular activities, which is all of your, um, your club activities and anything else you're choosing to take on, um, because you're wild. Um, there's, um, uh, uh, income. So if you're choosing to sort of work a job at the academy to, you know, pay up, like there are tuition fees that you need to, to yeah, pay. Need to deal, address that at some point. Uh, yeah. Um, so. Yep. Um, and there's also, uh, then the last is just relaxation. So this is, you know, you're socializing, um, this is pursuing personal interests or like any sort of, uh, in- independent investigation that you're wanting to do or kind of research projects or anything that you're working on yourself. What we'll do is basically for each, um, semester, what I'm thinking of doing is just having you choose a primary focus and a secondary focus out of those four pillars that's not to say you're not doing them all but like if there's something that you're particularly wanting to invest in this semester like oh i really have this extra career project that i want to spend time on um choose that as your primary and then you know something else as your secondary and the other two you'll still be doing but you won't get any particular like bonuses from those things Mm. at the end of semester does that make sense Mm. yeah cool Mm. we're basically Um, we're, we're choosing our character progression as we go yeah yeah and you can kind of like you can kind of choose that 
switch it each semester as you feel but like that's kind of just something to keep in mind as to like what you want to sort of frame your your time because like are you the archetype that's like i'm always studying and i'm you know mm. never sort of going out to social events or you're the other end of the spectrum where it's like i'm always doing social stuff which has its own benefits because you get to sort of build your relationships and everything but it also means that your studies are going to be you're not going to get as many benefits from your from your academy classes um so just keep that in mind as you're kind of like doing downtime stuff um and we'll we'll sort of like get a bit more into the mechanical stuff of that towards the end of the semester so, um, Kellen, I will say you get an extra line of credit towards the income um, track just because of your your privilege. I was going to say, I don't think we deliberately, <laughs> yeah. like, I wasn't yeah. aware that we would have to discuss tuition. Yeah. yeah. I don't think, but but I think narratively, I don't think Kellen was aware yeah. that he had to discuss tuition. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's quite interesting. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And there'll be other ways that you can get sort of credit towards these things as well. Um, mm. So, you know, if you decide to take on two jobs, you might get an extra income stream you know like that kind of thing now we're at the point where like you said yeah. the initial inciting incident that was our initial getting settled is yeah. tapering off yeah like we're at we're at the point where we can start doing that yeah so this is kind of like yeah i guess new sort of checkpoint where we can start to look at the next stuff um mm, and mm. and uh yeah. we finished the prologue effectively yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so Good job. You, yeah. you made it past the tutorial. Yeah, right? now it's time for the main uh, game. Uh, Let's go. <laughs> Figured out how to do the double jump finally. <laughs> <laughs> so with that all in mind, um, uh, what do you think that, um, at least for like the, the last couple of weeks, just sort of, you know, you, the, the first two weeks were your pretty hectic, um, the pretty hectic ones that you're uh, uh, doing. But for these next couple of weeks, like I'm going to leave it pretty much in your hands as to decide what kind of things you want to be doing. So like, do you want to seek employment anywhere? Like, what do you think the projects you're working on at your clubs are? And like, how do you think those are going? Just sort of judging by your characters and stuff. If, if we need to zoom in on anything in particular, like we can, but just like this is sort of open open forum at the moment. Um, I think this is probably a good point also to check in with the like, um, not that we're going to dive into the, any of these immediately, but just yeah. for the sake of wrapping that prologue up and being on the same page, like mm. the narrative threads that are extracurricular that we have, mm. yeah. because mm. I would like there to make that more so explicit many. as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so as far as I see them, what we have is we have um, Conrad's uh, mysterious side Con business. Bad. Con, mm. Con bad doing something that we don't know mm. um, and potentially, you know, undermining us we're not sure for uh, no reason well what we, a jerk we know we're offside with conrad what we don't know is whether it connects to the other thread which is you know who is responsible for what happened to us at the start yeah, right trying for to getting sent us. down the can canyon and why that occurred so yeah. those are those are two threads um and i think the follow-ups from those are you know investigating what conrad's deal is investigating what the deal is with the underground and the artifacts that we've recovered in this ancient civilization. But there's those two, and then um, there's Carafeo. Mm. Um, and then for me, there's my sword, but that can kind of be a longer term thing as well um, in terms mm. of research. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm finding Carafeo's true love mm. um, <laughs> in the first mm. couple of weeks yeah. of... But, but as far as, yeah, immediate inciting incidents, I think it's probably just the, the Conrad's deal and, you know... Um, what about the fucked up thing that you saw? Mm. Also that. I had <laughs> genuinely... Uh, You're repressing that. ...forgotten that <laughs> until this moment. No this is why I wanted to have this discussion. There's, yeah. Also, yeah. there's also what's going on with that and the fact that the Chancellor was talking to um, them, you know, in secret and what that means as well. So, you know, how we go about addressing those, I don't think we necessarily have to rush out and solve them, but factoring those in as well as the yeah. clubs and everything. I how involved... To are we with those yeah. things? And yeah. Like now? I think yeah. I think I just wanted to refresh mm. where we were at with them. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, I think like, you know, just sort of meta as well. I'd encourage you all to think about like, um, which I think you all have sort of been doing, but sort of like short-term goals and long-term goals. So, you know, there's there's things about your, your characters that I know which are like, I would say probably the long-term arc yeah. of all of your characters and so like i would encourage you not to sort of necessarily try to rush to solve those things straight away because mm. that's kind of like leave that content for the kind of <laughs> the climax um and then there's sort of stuff which you know is, is more sort of short-term stuff which we can potentially make more prevalent if you want to push that to the forefront in any given sort of um, episode so feel yeah. free to kind of like raise that stuff but you know again it's a, it's the kind of thing where it's like if you do want to sort of make a call to be like actually i want to investigate this aspect of this or whatever um just just let me know and we can we can work around that 
Yeah, um, and, and similarly, like if if we want to have that discussion as part of some one one individual of us doing that, I think it would be valuable to have a discussion in character. I mean, I know exactly what I've been doing because that's me. Mm-hmm. Um, Why is it that I can role play characters who like have executive function? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because it's in Wish the development. It's in short, uh, in short <laughs> sessions. Uh, yeah, right. ninety minute bursts. I can talk about someone else doing it, but when? Mm, yeah. yeah, I think I'm the opposite. <laughs> All that is to say, uh, I think for Callan, the short term is uh, building up some goodwill rather than burning it. Mm-hmm. So mm. it's probably spending time studying. Um, but I don't necessarily think he's an overachiever. I think he's doing the, the making sure he follows the bare minimum, and then I think outside of that, trying to build a social network. Um, so probably doing his clubs and spending a lot of time at the fainting form. How, how do you think Callan's swimming lessons are going? Not well. Yeah. Like, really um, not I well. I will tell you, because we never sort of, like, explored it, the um, the swimming club president is Celine. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Oh, there you go. Well, yeah. You are spending n- more time. <laughs> I feel... Uh, Kellen is a thousand times more self-conscious about how uncool he is when he gets in the water. Yeah. yeah. Um, because he is effectively, uh, he's the he's the equivalent of Magikarp on land, but it, the, the reverse. <laughs> Just flail. Just absolutely none. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's his it's his biggest uh, like uh, social shame is that he doesn't know how to swim yeah, I, as I a, think as, ma- a, as the child of a swashbuckler. Mm-hmm. I think maybe like. Because you've probably had a, like a couple of um, meetings or se- sessions at this point, so I think like maybe like for the first couple, Celine was probably trying to get you up to to speed, but I think she may have just given up at some point and gone like, oh, it's not. It's not so yeah, I think Kellen's probably trying very hard to get good at swimming. Um, and then what was the other one? That, I think Kellen joined the swimming and dueling. the dueling. Yeah. Mm. Um, and then maybe the drama club. I can't remember if we did that. Yeah, as well. I think I think you joined all. Yeah, I, did, I joined you, all You three. were a last-minute entrant to the drama club. Yeah, because mm. yeah. I think I was like, there doesn't seem to be any downside to signing up to this many clubs, yeah. um, except for now when it comes back to bite me. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think swimming swimming has been like, yeah, probably the probably the like thing that he's most frustrated about. Yeah. Um, whereas I think with the other two, he kind of feels like he can show up and have fun and not really have to try. Yeah. You just get shoved to like the shallow side of the pool to yeah, hang yeah. Out. yeah. You, you, you yeah. get floaties and everyone else. Like there is a full on swimming anime occurring mm-hmm. at swimming club. Like Celine is the like above it all class president, and yeah. there's the like the beautiful like swimming people having their own slice of life adventure, and I'm the literal comic relief that's Being off to the side. Expressive, like yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, but but is just fully outside of that drama so occasionally they will like sound like they're having magical adventures uh mm. but i'm just not participating mm. yeah. i almost drowned they all they, they all rocked up in like penguin suits the other day and there was just no context and they don't tell me where they've all been and i'm just trying to do my best but i feel like they don't really want me to be kind of part of that you know what i mean so like callan rocks up and like is 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 like like ripped kind of like board short swimming anime but then he's just floundering in the water while everyone else goes and gets their like magical droplets hanging in the yeah, air kind yeah. of sunshine moment yeah yeah so in dueling then if are you kind of writing off dueling as as not being a well i i mean he had a pretty poor showing at orientation yeah but uh i think he probably wants to be the best but doesn't really want to try yeah. i think mm-hmm. that's his attitude with dueling yeah sure you don't want to look like you're putting effort in you want to be calm and casual yeah yeah um what's what's the drama production this year or this this semester so every um to be like explicit i guess like every every extracurricular thing will have a project for a semester which is like what everything's working towards so if, like for swimming it might be like an inter-school swimming competition that like everyone at swimming club is is working on um and then for the drama thing it's a production for, for the semester so what do you think that is for the two of you like some equivalent of romeo and juliet i think right? that's i think that's, yeah i think uh, i'll i'll uh, let you drive this one if you want to well I'm, I'm trying to think like just uh just like yeah just a tragic like grecian style yeah it's a, a classic tragedy yeah mm. And you're on you're on special effects. Yeah, I'm on memory. special effects. Yeah. for the most part. Do we have a? Are we given a production, or do we, are we trying to like? I, I think this is it this is a devised uh, production. It's a devised like, work. Like specifically, I don't want to say this is the play we're doing this year. So like, this is your extracurricular activity. So I want. I'm hoping you both will kind of mm. drive that. So yeah. what what like what do you think the. I th- yeah, I-, I like the idea of it being like an almost like uh, trashy high school, like Romeo and Juliet kind of yeah. thing. I think that's it. 
Um, so it's like censored grease, you know, like it's it's all of the all of the 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 racy bits cut out. Oh, who was the club head of the drama club? Uh, Rani. Rani. I feel like Rani's the type. I get the impression Rani's the type to go deep into the classics and want to build yep. a grandiose vision. So what yep. if it's it's kind of a Romeo and Juliet story, but it's set in the time of the glacian the glacians it's it's, it's like it's, it's set in the time of the glacians right mm -hmm. and it's just like you know instead of grecian it's glacian like yeah. epic the glacian know? tragedies the glacian tragedy he's trying to do one of the glacian tragedies but we're all like the juniorest high school level like yeah. acting I, I also love that because it means that everyone's probably just speculating about like what the culture was like yeah the, well. the gaps are the filled in gaps are wild and right? then their spaceship comes down <laughs> yeah yeah so i feel like it, you know something that's got a documented like storyline like a yeah a glacian kind of romeo and juliet but it's yeah. wild yeah it's like science fiction as yeah. long as there's one moment in it where it's in the text it's like exuant pursued by an albert <laughs> Exuant pursued by an albert mm -hmm. i like that i like this too because it potentially uh gives us a narrative license to do some research on mm. glacians in a very public facing way that might have an ulterior motive. Yep. Yeah. So I think that gives us a way to kind of follow that lead in a long term sort of way. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You, do you like that? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. yeah. What, what's your role then? Yeah. I have, I have one line. Yeah. Um, yeah. A tree. Maybe you're like the equivalent of the, you know, the, um, the, the man carry. goat. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I'm the person who would, yeah. Like one scene where they rock up and go like, oh, here's your poison. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> um, and you have to have like aged makeup, like really. Yeah, I feel fancy. really gross about it because I'm like, this is not as flashy as I thought it would be. You got a hunch. Um, yeah, in that case, given I have only one line, I feel like I just... Uh, you know, again, bare minimum, like rock up. So it's probably all my efforts going into swimming and dueling then. Yeah, mm. sure. So, yeah. Cool. Um, Milo, you are doing um, the theatre, obviously, but mm -hmm. you're also in, in music club with Beetroot. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll I've got get, a triangle. Um, what, what do you think you're sort of like focusing on in your downtime? Um, he making trinkets, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Trinkets. Um, yeah, I got the trinket I archetype. So, trinkets. uh, Talisman Dabbler. Yeah. So, he's making a couple of trinkets in. Anything in particular, or just making your standard talismans? Because, like, what, what I could potentially give you to sort of give that a thematic thing is also, um, you could also be making stuff to sell as, yeah. as income as part of your, as part of your work in the workshop. So, like, you could treat work in the workshop as a trade potentially if you're making things to, to, um, yeah, I would, sell to people. I would love to be doing that. Um, Milo would be pretty terrified of not getting the tuition money in, so he would potentially be doing, getting two jobs, like making stuff and yeah. like just anything. Like he could be, he would probably find like the first job that he finds, and yeah, then okay. just. Are you grifting people? <laughs> no, he's a burger flipper. <laughs> Like, do you, do you work in the fawn? Do you see if you get a job at the fawn? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's do it. Mage Hand just like gets put out on the daily, just moving cups and like, welcome to the fainting fawn, may I take your order? <laughs> yeah, you and I like rock up after <laughs> class one day or like doing something else. Like maybe we've been practicing dueling and we're like, oh, let's go get a drink. This is, this is very, you know, it's, it's a warm day. We walk in and you're just like, there's like seven jugs of beer. <laughs> Milo, like, three orders for ale over here. I've, well, I've, Got it. Well, six orders of dessert at table three. <laughs> Me too. Me too. <laughs> Milo, what are you... Didn't realize you were. Welcome to the fainting farm. May I take your order? Yes. Uh, okay. Well, see. Okay. What I would like Quick. is I would like a coffee, but I need you to skip the beans, replace the beans with raspberries, and then blend oat milk in. And if you could t skip the oats and actually make it soy instead, uh, uh, tall, um, but also a short. So a coffee. Got, got it. Thanks. <laughs> Milo, there's drinks at the bar here. Um, um, Milo, do you need a hand? And no. then I immediately start helping you. No. Oh, no. no. Stop it. <laughs> You're not getting a cut. <laughs> No, what? No, 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 I just, no, it looks like you need some help. No, 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 no. I, I can take No, the, I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> you also need an RSA as well. <laughs> oh, drinks. yeah, no, beetroot definitely Responsible <laughs> sorcery with around alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason Milo got a job yeah. was he's, he's the only one who could get it. <laughs> yeah. Press the dissertation, cleaning yeah, everything. Yeah, they're like, oh, yeah, sold. Yeah. Actually, no, that's probably a good point. I think 
probably the, you were able to get an in because you I don't know if you remember when you first arrived at the Feigning Fawn you helped clean the graffiti off the yeah, sign when true. you first came in so mm. you actually probably had like a fairly decent um, this is what a, I mean a proven it's track record of your, in the thread yeah yeah, yeah. Um, cool uh, great so yeah you're focusing on, on work I, uh, as I will just take an ale Milo mm-hmm. I was only joking yeah, yeah. I know <laughs> <laughs> um, and Beatrice what are you up to Um, So I'm definitely prioritizing my studies Mm -hmm. because I think I will need to put extra time into that. (laughs) I'm not smart. (laughs) Um, Yes, and I think even with all of the extra time that I'm putting into my studies, I'm still getting very, like, average grades. Mm -hmm. There's... It's so sad. (laughs) Yeah, it's like I studied really hard for the wrong test, Um, that kind of a thing. Books are to be true as water is to Kellen. I'm trying so hard. (laughs) (laughs) But, I could chew to you for a prize. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Well, um, that that's really nice of you, Milo. And but I I really need to. Oh, I I didn't get any of the the scholarships that I applied to. Um, I guess I didn't get the the grades t- that would make that anyway. So I'm having to save my. No, you I know. I understand. I was joking when I said you know, I'll. It's for a cut. I'd happily help you oh, out. You would? Yeah. That that's really nice. Um if, if there's a way that I can help you at your job as well, that would I could I've got big hands. It's true. Maybe I don't know, maybe you can apply if you like and make more hands help. Oh lot. well I've I've got my, my job at the stables, so that takes up the rest of my time. <laughs> yes. That's where the horse master yeah. came in. Yeah. Oh John yeah. Hoofson. Also yeah. Kellen Kellen goes down at least once a week with a carrot to check in on Frostman. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I no, don't know if he's got the equestrian skills to like do the the whole horse riding club and everything, but like is just down there socializing with this horse. Mm-hmm. I said unshakable bond, and I meant mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. So well, I definitely make sure that Frostman's um, stable is very clean and mucked out. Yeah, I feel like I, I go down there and just hang out, you know, when I need to take some downtime. Just me and the horse, and a, and a book or something. Um, so that's that's all happening. <laughs> Is that what you were expecting? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like that's that, that's it. Like I just wanted to like get your your slice of life moments. Um, are we all also? Uh, are we all taking the same? Like, is is the first semester here all the like same all the same curriculum? Like we haven't yeah. branched out into yeah. electives yet. No, for the first semester, it's it's basically slice you know, of, everything. of everything, bit of everything. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. So. Um, uh yeah I, I i don't think i'm gonna have like a specific class for each thing before we like get to the end um but like uh we'll we'll touch on some as we go through yeah, so like cool. assume you're going to classes you may just not be like getting like the intro class but i mean like classes. surely there are there's a split like the i mean where does the uh, the split come in with say i mean milo's gonna go and learn mm-hmm. magical things mm-hmm. and i'm gonna go learn you know martial things and yep. it's like are they separate like, are we on separate kind of, like, enrollment tracks based on, no, I guess, for me, no. o- outside of narrative, like, how do our classes factor, how do our classes factor into our classes? Yeah, so, so not right now for the first semester. Basically, everything you're just getting, like, is a basic to everything. So, like, going to magic classes is, like, you're learning about spell cl- casting, but you're not necessarily needing to Doing, cast spells. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, learning okay. about, like, what spells, sort of, how spells are cast and what their origin is. The like, thaumaturgy. Yeah, yeah. yeah like it doesn't matter what your major is. These are the intro classes that yeah, everyone has to take, and mm. you cannot complete unless you've yeah. completed your introduction. So yeah. I hate that. And, and so this is, this is kind of, like, then I guess, like, where I was sort of, like, working towards with like the other stuff surrounding your classes which was after this is when you will spit you will take like specific classes with the specific masters to be like you know this is going to be my focus track on these ones Mm. um and from those classes you'll get bonuses and stuff towards your your actual class so that's where you will learn feet stuff from your classes so if you're never doing the magic classes after the semester that's totally fine yeah you don't need to um but that's where milo will probably be learning all of the yeah i mean there's probably like still like there's there's then like sorcery specialization you know and then there's still like you know arcane studies which we would all still be taking yeah like i assume there's an english for magic as well as like maths and english and all that stuff but not english but you know yeah 
Yeah, there's, spell there's casting A, the, the spell language. casting B, spell casting C. Mm. Yeah, mm. spell yeah. casting C. You learn trigonometry, which is um, <laughs> well, it's no, important. Sorry, you you yeah. have to you have to learn trig. You have to do the intro mathematics course because spell casting mm. B is all about um, cones, spheres, and lines. Yeah, mm. you, you've <laughs> yeah. got to calculate the perimeter of your spell effect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> let's not get delved into that. Yeah, too yeah, 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 yeah. Theoretical differentiable spell casting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That one spell you'll never need to actually use in real life, but you had to learn it anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I know the direction. <laughs> I can see the sun. <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Oh God. Okay. Um so so uh uh let's 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 keep moving things over here along. Um so as part of this as well, like in this time you also get called up occasionally to do path duties. So they're things that you'll um do with members of your path that will be spe uh, specific services that you might have to do around the, the campus that people basically just take turns doing as part of your volunteering to keep the academy running. So um, Is this part of our like houses? Yeah, yeah. So so like, you know, um you know, a group of glad might get called up to go and clean the stables every now and again um or that's my job well they'll take care of like you know the animals and stuff like oh, that yeah. outside of you know specific employment are these kind of also a bit like mentorship programs in that you all it's it's all the like uh you know semester like and rank people kind of interacting in a, a common area doing yeah. the same task yeah so so the like um is there a sports carnival like, again like and then we have to compete against one another um so the so the yeah like or, originally like the kind of um thing that was put forward with the paths was that like yeah it's exactly like a mentor mentorship thing like in order to kind of like advance through the ranks you will want to get um you'll get advisement from senior people like from the specific masters as well that may be following in your um path you'll probably need to get their sponsorship to get to certain ranks and things like that so you want to be um kind of keeping in touch with the principles and sort of values of, of that path. One thing I do want to zoom in on specifically is the Clypeus duties get called up to help prep food in the kitchens for the week. Um, so uh, you and a bunch of other people from um, from the path of Clypeus end up getting summoned up to go and spend some time in the kitchens. When you get down to the kitchens, you are um, led to, you know, a kind of little workbench, production line bench, everyone's got veggies and stuff to, to chop. Um, and you are positioned next to Pitt, who is um, sitting there and he's just idly chopping away to- Just not really roughly, caring. Roughly chop some potatoes and tossing them in a bowl. And um, what would you like to do? You're really good at chopping up potatoes. Have you done that before? Um, as you as you approach, he kind of like looks up from, and you can see like his hair's like a little bit. Um, uh, actually, he's probably got it. They've all got hair nets on, yeah. High back, yeah. So his his he's got like his curly hair tied up in it in a net, and he sort of like looks at you from under his brow, and he goes, "You're not working here, are you?" Um, that's they they put me on the station next to you. Yeah, it's. Yeah. And he continues chopping. What's your favorite potato dish? <laughs> I really like potato soup um, when you've got like lots of uh, fresh herbs and, and put them in. I find that to be really nice. I really like that on a, on a winter's day. I like soup. Yeah? yeah? What kind of soup do you like? Potato and leeks. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good one, isn't it? Some time passes in silence. Except for the rhythmic. Um, have you done much cooking in your? I haven't done cooking. Who? Mostly, mostly Who cleaning up. Is this enigma of a person? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, after a while, he sort of like looks at what you're doing and then um, he says, uh, it's easier if you uh, take the eyes out first before you skip. What are the eyes? With the potatoes. The little... They, they don't have any eyes. The spots. The sp oh, are those? Yeah, not, Is that what they're not, called? Not they eat. can't see. No, but they're... Uh, it doesn't matter. He goes back to the Sorry, I'm... I'm 
No one ever really taught me um, how to how to cook, so um, thank you. Um, is is this what I'm supposed to do? And I'm doing a bad job of trying to dig. You just these like out. basically <laughs> digging a huge gouge yeah. out of the potato. You lose a lot of potato that way. Is there a better way to do it? Um, Beatrice, and- Beatrice acquainted with loss. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf. <laughs> that was a real cold shot, but I see it was right. <laughs> um, um, and he kind of like says, uh, this knife's a bit too big to do it. Um, and so he like pulls out like a small um, like paring knife, basically. And he says, just flick. Oh, oh okay. Um, well, how's that? And he, yeah, he gives you, he, he gives you the, the knife to use as well. Mm-hmm. It's alright. Could be better. Yeah, I could be better at a lot of things. But um, that's why I'm here, I guess, to get better at things. How about you? Why did you come to the school? How'd you do it? Do what? I know I, I know you you were doing it. Cause it you did it twice. What do you mean? Uh you know when I went to when I went to hit Milo. Oh. I I I heard um. Well, he used to so cavalier about it too. Like, were you casting a spell on me or something? Oh um, I I don't. I don't really know. Sorry, I. It, it's a it's a well, from what I I know about uh from the arcane classes, it's it's not really a spell because I don't I don't have magic things but um but it was you each each time it was you you said you said stop and then i i heard it and then um so if I, if i tell you this can, can you promise not to tell anyone else cuz i don't really like talking about it because when i talk about it people think that i'm um weird and and, and crazy and i <sighs> People think I'm weird and crazy. Yeah, it's it's hard, isn't it? Because they see this this big kind of scary looking, and and then they think things about you, and they have expectations of the kind of person that you are. And yeah, but well, I am big and scary. Do, do you want to be big and scary? Yeah. I mean, I like being big, but I I don't like being scary. Yeah, it makes you stronger. I mean, like obviously. You know, well, you are really strong. Yeah, but I'm a halfling, so I'm you know, not very tall. But you're really strong. It just, you don't... I don't know, when, when I'm... I know a lot of sc- scary people, and they're not really strong to me. The people that I know who are really strong are the ones who aren't scary, and... Anyway, sorry, I'm... Um, the thing is that... A, a little while ago, I, I started being able to sort of not really do things that I wasn't able to do before. And it, it's, I don't really know why it happens and how it happens, but it's sort of like when, when I saw people who were doing things that weren't good things, I, I told them to st- that stop that that wasn't a good thing and then they did stop and I don't really know why it happens um so you don't know how to you you can't use it you don't know how to do it well it just can you do it on me now stop it's not this is it was stupid sorry sorry it's 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 not when whenever I feel like it, it, it's more in the moment when when something's happening to to someone I care about, the thing happens and... Is it real? Is what real? What, what? Like the, uh, uh, the things that you, you see when, when you do it, is it, is it real? What do you see? I heard, I heard someone say stop, but it wasn't you. It wasn't you. Do you know? 
I, I'd, to be honest with you, I've never really had the opportunity to talk to someone that I've said that to after I've said that to them. So I didn't know that that was happening. I'm really sorry. I, I mean, well, I'm not sorry that you anyway, didn't I'm punch. And, my, uh, oh. He's puts his tray of potatoes into a bowl and then he walks away. You've left your knife. He doesn't come back. Well, cool. that was deeply troubling. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I loved all of that. I hate that my character isn't there, so I don't get to know that it happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm now going to have conflicted feelings when you're going to do things to Pit, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna happen now. Did you? Oh, every, oh, did you use that? Friend. Did you use that ability on Milo at She's any point? Milo. You did. Yeah. I yeah. did. Mm-hmm. And it was your nan who you heard, but then you never talked to me about yeah, that no. afterwards. Yeah. So you don't actually know what happens. Mm. Nope. <clears throat> we have no um, idea what Pit saw. Cool. So. so there is one class that I wanted to specifically zoom in on um, as as your as your first introduction to the class, uh, which is uh, alchemy. Um, oh boy! Conveniently related to some to extra alchemy. narrative threads. Fantastic. Um, I'm gonna do so bad at this with all the <laughs> tiny little glasses. <laughs> The Lab Master's class is held in the chambers below the infirmary, uh, commonly known to the students colloquially as the pipes. Passing through the infirmary, you see luminaries with a broad range of ailments that um, have they've encountered over their um, adventuring times being treated. So there's simple things like bandaged wounds and burns, um, you know, severed severed fingers, um, and then you, strange pustules, and then you think you even see a few staff trying to reverse on a spell on a chicken in a small blue cloak. Um, and uh, as you as you pass through all of this, eventually you get to um, like a stairwell, which which um, a stairwell which leads down to um, the depths below. Um, into there's a, there's the, into a sign the on the door, and it just says, "Oh, Gladius, the pipes, the pipes are calling." <laughs> <laughs> Good. Connected by winding underground sewer-like corridors, the laboratories of the pipes are the setting of uh, your alchemical studies. When you say sewer-like. On what axis? Uh, purely architectural. Okay, yeah. so just like tiled, Not functional, tiled and square and circular. Yeah, yeah, basically just like winding, curved passages. Okay. Um, At any point, do we hear like the sounds of an organ playing? And there's... <laughs> yeah, there's just people with half masks walking around. <laughs> <laughs> They're also the source of many urban legends around the school. Um, naturally, being subterranean uh, 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 passages, they uh, there are rumors of students getting lost down there and you know never returning, and uh, strange cries echoing from down in the corridors, and even whispers of a monstrous creature that crawls through the passages to eat students. The climate down here is maintained impeccably. Uh, there are runes on the walls that give like a soft green glow over everything, um, but they are ensuring that there is cool and still and dry air down here. Signs lead you to a small theatre of a classroom uh, that has tiered seating, walls lined with ingredients, cupboards, and a small cauldron at every station. Uh, when you arrive, you see that um, other students have already um, begun to set up at their at their desks and stations. Um, Tal and Pit and Juniper are also in this class at a at a cauldron towards the back of the classroom. Um, <clears throat> but everyone is sort of like slowly unpacking their books and getting ingredients and things. And I I don't know about you guys, but I feel like we probably go and take the one next to them if there's one free. Yeah. Um. Absolutely, because Juniper. Mm. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. As you walk in, he goes, "Hey guys. <gasps> hey Juniper. Hi, Juniper. How's it going? Good." Um, have you guys done any mixing before? No, uh, unless unless you count uh, some uh, off-menu orders from Milo at the Fainting Fawn, but I don't think that quite qualifies as the same thing. <laughs> oh, was that you? Oh, oh, gotcha. I had a terrible headache, and I'm and, so sorry that. Was yeah, I haven't really pizza. eaten there in the last couple of weeks. Uh, Pip kind of like gives you a glance, but then like looks immediately back down to um, the the books. Um, Talon just I, perfectly just looking at the book and setting up and yeah, just Talon's, not speaking. Yeah, Talon's, Talon's just there. In he's, he's ready. He's just sort of like, I reckon he's yeah just got everything already set to go in his notebook and he's just kind of waiting. Um, uh, is there anything specifically you would like to do? Milo spreads out. Like all the stuff, like papers, everywhere. Mm-hmm. You just Typical apply your notes spreading. and they just, they just flop out of your bag all over mm-hmm. the floor. Mm-hmm. I'm just probably looking... <laughs> at all of the ingredients again Mm -hmm. looking intimidated Mm -hmm. yeah i think the cupboards um probably have glass panes on them and you can see yeah strange 
jars of different things floating around, mm -hmm. lots of different plants and things that seem to be preserved. Um, many, many flasks that glow different iridescent colors and some that even make like a, a low humming sound. But um, many of the cabinets are locked. They're behind, um, you know, uh, big padlocks, whereas the ones that are closer to the front of the classroom are a little bit more accessible. Mm. Um, <clears throat> Kellen's, Kellen's going to go over and, like, you know, say hello to Talon and, and kind of, you know, be like, hey, hey, Talon, how's it going? You seem very prepared. Uh, is, are, you, are you fond of alchemy? Is this one of your specialties? It's uh, not something that I would uh, count amongst my strengths, but... I am here to learn and do my best. Class act. Uh, and while I'm doing this, I'm uh, trying to sneakily read his notes. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's just got alchemy, question mark. <laughs> Does it really? Oh, no. It's all sure. You were supposed to be the best of us, Talon. <laughs> uh, and as you're all getting settled... Uh, I copy his setup anyway. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, what are you doing? No, that was all... That was all proper <laughs> already yep. in front of you you have um, a number of uh, small flasks that uh, empty flasks set up you have like 10 uh, 10 uh, pre poured vials of just clear liquid that are that are set up um, and the cauldron is already sort of like heated with like a small fire underneath it uh, but there's nothing inside the cauldron as well as like an range of different uh, a range of different ingredients yeah. it's it's magic soup class for day one um and as you're getting settled potato and leek <laughs> um you hear a a low uh thudding that is echoing from outside the door. <laughs> all the surfaces of all of the cauldrons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like a little, just a little rattle. Like yeah. it's not, it's like Ripple. huge, but there's mm -hmm. just like a little thing. And I think it's the monster. Everyone goes silent, um, and they're suddenly in a, a, an eerie wind that seems to carry through the passageway and um, enters into the classroom, which was weird because the air was quite still before um, as as you came in. Um, <clears throat> and then. Um, Something begins to emerge through the entryway. Four crab-like legs begin to emerge just from through the, the doorway and start to just step in uh, atop it as they sort of move through. Up to, atop the legs seems to be the bare torso of what you might have guessed would be a human man, um, except across its large belly is a grinning sharp teeth um, does it have a face and still? there is a third arm emerging from its shoulder its head is bald and its eyes are a glassy black and where its normal mouth should be there is nothing but smooth semi-translucent oh. skin what is this? Um, and you see that Talon immediately like leaps to his feet. He's got a sword ready in hand. Um, Pit and Juniper are starting to like scramble for their stuff, and you hear like shocked murmurs and things from the rest of the students. They start to like scramble to action. Um, so before we jump to initiative, what would you like to do? <sighs> yeah, I'm going to try and go through like memory, seeing if we understand what this is, if it's. Yeah, I feel like we're all probably going to roll a nature check at this point. Yeah, yep. uh, I would say society, nature. Um, you could probably do. You could probably justify Arcana. A straight up okay. thirteen. Oh, that's an eight total. Okay. I got a twenty-five. Oh Jesus! Ooh, dang. Um, so Milo, you recognize this as a flesh, a strange ancestry that have a. Um, a history of having strange creations and amalgamations done to their physical form um, that make them have a very strange appearance to to compared to most other people. So th th we would not have encountered people like this in our journeys prior to this. You no, would say. very yeah, very uncommon ancestry. Okay, <clears throat> um, and. Uh, as uh, the creature moves into the class, you see that it is carrying some books under its uh, under its arm, and um, it brushes off the the uh, the response of all the, the students in the classroom. And it goes, 
all right, student, settle down, settle down, everyone. And its, um, and its mouth is 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 talking. Um, but even though its mouth talks down here, you see its eyes and face expressing as as normal. Um, as uh, it, it it kind of like looks around the room. Method's too cute for you, huh? You had to go hard in the other direction. <laughs> um, and it says, uh, "All right, all right, settle down, everyone. That's enough. Well, I'm sure you've seen uh, worse things in the loo after eating at the Phaeton Fawn." <laughs> Uh, and uh, uh, that's for you, Miley. Um, and I yeah, definitely we go, take we my hand. I don't so. cook, especially, yeah, thing. Yeah, especially since they changed the stuff. <laughs> oh, the menu these days, am I right? Yeah, okay. Uh, all I right, like that's it. enough. I, li- I like I like this. Uh, swords away, swords away. Um, and you see that Talon is standing and doesn't seem to be moving, like with his sword out and, and ready. And he Talon like have turns food. Like, it's. It, How? It's a. What are you? I go up. I'm to sorry. Talon. What were you about to say? I go up to Talon and I put my hand on Talon's arm. Um, it's not always a good idea to judge books by their covers. But it's clearly and a demon spawn. I'm. F- Lots of people don't have really any control over who their parents were, but they tend to be really nice, regardless. So. <laughs> Let's learn alchemy. <laughs> Also, flesh warps don't have anything to do with demonic or <laughs> devil heritages, uh-huh. so you're incorrect there. Well, that's really useful to know. Yeah, how'd I you feel, know that? I feel like I feel like if you knew, you knew this was good, you could have warned any of us. <laughs> Did you just forget um, until now? Was this not something that you felt you could you, share you with should, the class? Should mention before now? Yes, share literally share with the class. <laughs> Um, and as he starts to like organize his books on the table, like the arm on his shoulder, like turns around and starts to write on the board. Um, and Beatrice says, doesn't have a problem so, with this. Claire has a problem. So to, to be completely clear, crab legs and yeah. like carapace, like shell, but no, no crab claws. No crab claws. Like, hu- like it's a it's a centaur with crab legs and human torso. Okay. Yeah. Crab or crab tor. Crab tor. Yeah. Um, and think think like uh, Mr. Waternoose from Monsters, Inc. Oh, yeah. Like, that kind of shape would be probably close. Mm-hmm. He writes up on the board, I am Lab Master Boyle, and I have the great pleasure of teaching you about the three A's, anatomy, alchemy, and aromatic herbs. The last one isn't part of the curriculum, but it's good knowledge to have. Before we begin, uh, and um, everyone is sort of like writing, scratching notes, um, and he says, before we begin, uh, I must ask, does anyone have currently in front of them a first edition copy of Calamitous Cauldrons? Would we have one? I remember we, we that returned one to the library. Um, and uh, you see that like uh, 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 people have on the benches with them books, the, the textbooks that have been provided on the bench. Um, and you you look down at your your edition that's on there and it's it's second edition it's, it's yeah it's printed. yeah um and uh there's there's one Neville sort of, gave us the hookup we got the good shit yeah mm. um there's one like timid like hand that goes up and you see juniper um <gasps> and he says i i have one and he says ah oh, excellent uh if i could just get you to uh bring that up to the front and i'll uh swap it free of charge for a second edition for you thanks uh and he takes the 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 first edition book gives him the the second edition book um and then he takes that book and then puts it into a cabinet and then closes the cabinet and locks it in, seeing like everyone look at him and goes, a couple of errata to, you know, clear up in there. Yeah. Sorry about that, young man. Uh, you know, bit of a printing mistake, but it's all good now. As long as you've got second edition, that's great. Are we in danger if we read first edition? There were some misprints in the book. Uh, I trust that you haven't acted on making anything from there, have you? N- no, no. But then you're fine. I no see. worries I at all. Sure. I'm fully thinking about Conrad at this point. Mm. All right. Uh, today, yeah. we will be learning about mutagens. Mutagens are a special type of elixir that temporarily alter the properties of your body and mind. Uh, he gestures to the cauldron on the desk in front of him. This here is one of my own concoctions. And he takes off the lid and there's like a, a waft of steam that fills the room. Uh, it will enhance each of your physical attributes quite well, but will de- detract from some of your mental faculties. No. Uh, I wouldn't worry. Can I please have uh, two volunteers to demonstrate? <laughs> well, I don't have a lot of... I, I just made that cool. joke about Milo. Please don't. Um, That's so depressing. I didn't even hear it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great, you and uh, you. And uh, you see that Pitt's hand is, is also up. 
Um, and the two of you shuffle up to the front. Um, and he says, I call this one the Meathead Mutagen. And uh, judging by the looks of you, you've already had a bit of a dose, eh, you two? <laughs> no, just, 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 just Josh. Uh, and he he um, pulls out a, um, a, a small, like, sampling spoon and he, he gives it and pulls it into, like, a small cup. Uh, like a small thimble and he gives uh, one serve to Pit and he gives you a bigger serve he gives you like a double dosage of it and he gives it to you and he says what you'll see here is the mutagens alter your physical composition and your mental faculties to boot uh, and you would start to notice a change as your body takes on the genetic modifiers that happen in the mutagen I'm hair not gonna, in places that you I'm had, didn't gonna, have hair before um, some... I, I don't mean uh I'm not going to grow any um, um, cr- cr- crab parts, am I? Well, not unless you have too much. <laughs> no, no, don't worry. This isn't from mutagens. You're all good. Uh, uh, okay. Yep. Yeah, so uh, take, a, take a little sip and see what happens. I've given you a little bit of a bigger dose, so we should be able to see the spectrum of what happens afterwards. I look at both of you, but then I'm looking at Pitt and... Yeah, and... It, and um, I give you a thumbs up. Pitt goes... Well, why does she get more? Oh, well, it's purely just a demonstration effects. Uh, plus, you're, you're already quite buff, young man. I'm sure you'll be fine. He shots it. Um, and oh, I was going to do a little cheers. I still do the little <laughs> yeah, cheers. Yeah, he's, he's, he's already gone. gone. And oh, he goes for it. Okay. Now, it won't take long for the mutagen's effects to uh, take place. Uh, this is only a small dosage of this one, so it won't have a huge uh, effect. Um, and then you start to see Pitt's shoulders start to like broaden, and he sort of like grows a little bit inside. And then Beatrice, it takes a little bit longer for you to feel it kick in, but suddenly you start to feel strong. Like you start to feel quite powerful. Like you know, you're you wouldn't be worried about anything harming you, but your brain starts to feel a little bit foggy. You're a bit disorientated. Um, but for from the audience perspective, you start to see Beetroot grow like in size and in width, and she starts to get like these almost bestial claws that start to extend from her fingers, um, and you start to see like kind of like a, a, a lizardy, scaly skin start to form over as her skin hardens. A small couple of like horns start to sprout out from underneath Beetroot's hair. Ultimately, you start to see like these two two figures that are down in front of the class start to just hulk out, basically, is, is the simple. But in a sort of lizardy kind of way. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's like you can't quite place it on a specific creature. It just seems to be like... Vaguely reptilian. Vaguely reptilian in nature, yeah. I'll, I'll look at Tell and be like, um, and he's he's you know, got like a your, white knuckled put that, put that, a white knuckled grip on his sword. Put that away. <laughs> We're in class, decorum. I I swore a vow Do- to destroy evil. And have you seen any evil behaviour since we arrived? Do you do you do you understand that your your job is specifically to to verify? Like, what happens if you if you if you accidentally kill the wrong person? Does that not? Does that not make you evil? I say, like, whispering across to the side. Uh, surely, surely doing evil is just as bad as failing to rid the world of evil. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, while that existential crisis happens, um, you start to hear. Um, your, your, so your heart is racing. Your muscles are, 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 are swelling. Um, and then it feels good. I like this. Um, and then and he goes, okay. And he gives you a small beaker that has like this milky blue liquid. And it says, drink up, drink up, both of you. Um, before- I'm not thirsty. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, it does no. not have a frog written on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, uh, unfortunately, like even though the mutagens are temporary, I can't let you spend too much time in that form or it will start to have a more permanent effect. So uh, if you would just drink that, that will help to neutralize. Uh, why have I gone into Conrad voice? <laughs> If you drink that, that'll help to uh, neutralize the effects of the uh, uh, the mutagen. Uh, but I feel good. I know, I know. But uh, look, it's 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 for the best. Um, just drink up, please. You look over and you see. I feel like you probably see Juniper looking a little like terrified of you. Oh, s- s- don't be scared, Juniper. Here, and I drink it because Juniper was scared of me. Yep. Um. Pitt was also reluctant to drink, but like seeing you do it, eventually goes in and and scuzz it. And he says, the mutagen can be neutralized with a elixir that has 
polar opposite effects. Uh, so uh, in this case, anything that would help to enhance all of your mental capacities and to lower your physical capacities do helps you, to uh, cancel it out in your body. Do you specifically design mutagens to lower your physical capacities or are you just talking about something boosting mental, just kind of naturally having the opposite effect of something that boosts strength? Well, it's all a, it's all a trade-off, isn't it? As we're mm -hmm. going to be learning about today. Uh, there are some cases where you would want to have the cost of losing some of your physical capability if it did enhance your 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 foresight or your your intelligence but, but or, the antidote that you just gave them wasn't hmm? explicitly designed to neutralize that thing it was just designed in any other context to enhance something else and it just happened in this case to neutralize the effects as they are as they are polar opposites they will cancel out interesting yeah. okay write that down why wouldn't you just have one that doesn't have any trade-offs and then just makes you really strong oh. and smart if only, if only, that'd be the dream, wouldn't it? Yes, unfortunately, there's a couple of things preventing us from doing that. Um, one is that most uh, things, when combined together, will have different qualities. Some of them are never always going to be good. And so we try our best to try and select for the negative qualities as we're, as we're mixing. So that's what we're actually going to be looking at today, is how you can choose exactly which qualities you want to keep and which ones you want to remove. Now, in order to get something that is, it is, a net positive entirely well it's possible but it's a lot more challenging requires a lot more skill to uh, actually filter out the negative effects of any of the individual ingredients mm. all right so today's class is about experimentation you want to make five different mutagens uh that i have set for you you see on the table in front of you there are um five different types of mutagens that are listed each with their their qualities and their 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 benefits and their drawbacks. Each mutagen requires at least two of the eight ingredients that I have provided on your bench. Each ingredient will enhance one attribute, but will detract from another. Some may make you faster and more dexterous, with the drawback of uh, losing some of your uh, decision-making power. Let's put it that way. You'll need to experiment I'm not going to give you any information about uh, what any of these ingredients do. You have 10 doses of the catalyzing agent to make up to 10 mixtures. You will need to experiment, combine some mixtures, taste the mixtures, and then observe the effects and try and make educated guesses as to what the ingredient attributes are so that you can make your perfect uh, mutagens by the end of the lesson. Is that clear? I've gone back to my desk and I am now raising my hand. Yep. Um, there's no combination of any of these that could be poisonous, right? I've given you the, the small dosage spoon there. That'll measure to make sure that it's only subtle effects. You're not going to, uh, you know, turn into a fish anytime soon. Time to get tasting. And then um, you see that there are eight stacks of ingredients mm. that are um, adjacent uh, to each of your desks. So to be very explicit, um, obviously each ingredient has a positive and a negative um, effect to one of your six attributes. You don't know what they are, but when you combine them, you Tower will frog. you will see a you will see a uh, effect when you drink them that will give you an indication as to what one of the ingredients potentially was giving you uh, a effect towards, if that makes sense. Um, so, so for example, if you combined two certain ingredients and then both of them made you very fast, then you might get a sense that okay, the positive effect of both ingredients. We can't just eat fast. one and yeah. observe its effects. No, we have, have to combine to them. Mix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, um, are these on the table? Yes. Or do we have to go get them from? No, the... these are these are on the table. Yep. Okay. Um, so the uh, the only other step required is you would potentially have some alchemical knowledge that will help you in this class. So. What I'm going to do is, if you would like to, you can make a guess as to what uh, some of the qualities of each ingredient are using a craft check. It'll be a secret craft check, and I will tell you, based on those results... What the effect is. The, the attributes of one of the ingredients or more, depending on what you roll. So if you get a critical success, I'll give you two attributes of across all ingredients. If you get one success, I'll give you... But to be clear, um, we're telling your, uh, you our modifier yes. and you're rolling. Of yes. Course. So this yes. is one where secret rolls are actually important because okay. it is information that may or may not be reliable. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. um, so we have lizard's leg. I wanted to make a quick 
note about the names of these things because when people refer to Eye of Newt, that was actually mustard seeds. Huh. Not Eye of Potato? Um, but yes. Are we going with these are actually tongues of dogs and things? They're herbs. They're all herbs. I would like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. They're all they're all herbs that have a strange name. I would say I would say that um yeah, Milo would have a bit of experience with this. Yep. Um, he's probably dabbled or been told a bit by his nan or his tree friend. I have a refined talent and low okay. constitution. So what's, what's the your what's your happen? craft check? Um, uh, my craft check. Is... Uh, your craft modifier, I should say. My craft modifier. Um, while you're looking that up, T, do you want to read out what the five mutagens you need to? Yes. Make so are? I will do a quick round. We have uh, the bestial mutagen, which enhances strength and reduces dex. We have the cognitive mutagen, which greatly enhances int and lowers strength and dex. We have the silver tongue mutagen, which enhances charisma and reduces int. We have the quicksilver mutagen, which enhances dex and lowers con. We and we have the juggernaut mutagen, which enhances con and reduces wiz. To clarify, these aren't like. Uh the specific effects of some of these mutagens, but like broadly speaking, that's the category of what those those qualities are. Like in, in Pathfinder in, in the rule yeah. set, yeah. yeah. Um, and then ingredients wise on our table, we have lizard's leg, adder's fork, blind worm's sting, toe of frog, eye of newt, owlet's wing, tongue of dog, and wool of bat. What'd you get? Eight. eight. I have an eight. Yeah, cool. Um, you don't know what any of them do. Oh boy. Yeah. I um, think I have had a some experience with ingredient things. Mm -hmm. So do you want to attempt a craft check? I would like to attempt a craft check. I have no I didn't yep. I didn't do very well. Yeah. <laughs> Kellen That's why I'm worried about any of them hurting. Being, yeah. So so Beatrice knows that Lizard's leg gives a benefit to it. Cool. Okay. Um, and I will just reiterate that you have 10 doses of the catalyzing we to, agent. We have to figure this out. So the gameplay loop is trying to make mutagens yep. and then tasting them. Yep. So yeah, you effectively okay. have five you can use to trial combinations. Yeah. If that makes sense. Gotcha. I'm happy to be the um, test person. We should, I think, split duties. Otherwise, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to give you an upset tummy later. That's yeah. really nice of you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, especially if we have to go have dinner at the fawn again. <laughs> You'll need all the constitution you can keep. It's, n it's just get the there, buddy. leftover <laughs> part. <laughs> um, and you start to hear like the, the sounds of other students starting to like, there's like hissing and bubbling as people start to drop stuff into water and, and things. Right. I'm, I'm going to say we just pick two. Uh, how many are there? Eight. I'm going to randomly decide that we should mix blind worm sting and lizard's leg. And just see what happens. What do you think? Because I mean, it's good a place to start as Eddie. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. So we put those two together. Great. Um, so uh, the lab master explains, uh, luckily this is quite a potent catalyzing agent. So you shall see the combinations of your ingredients near immediately in most cases. Um, you pop them both into the cauldron and for a moment it starts to uh, do a, a, like a vortex. It starts to self um, spiral and it turns like a deep shade of red and then it just completely turns clear again and the water stills. Okay. Um, well, I'll probably try my own creation, you know. Uh, well, see you on the up. other side. I take a little sip. Oh my god, you're invisible. Um, and there's, oh my there, god. There's, a, there's a pregnant pause as, as everyone sort of like waits to see what you're... Oh, congratulations, pause. I'm really happy for you. Uh, um, I stopped myself from doing that. <laughs> it's going to be one or both of us, um, right? Sometimes it's both. In the silence, you see Talon start to grow in size, like next to you. And he goes... What, what did you... What? I... Uh, I feel I'm so big. Why did I get big? And then he starts to, to shrink, shrink down, again. like after a, after a few seconds. Um, but you, Kellen, feel absolutely nothing. No change. That felt fine. Um, mm. I don't think it's doing anything. Do I look? Do I look strange? I feel fine. You look. You look completely fine. I'm, well, you look good. You should. We should oh, see physical I mean, changes. Thank you. Right. Um, so. Um, and you start to see a student behind you, like, start to, like, 
vibrate and they move okay. really quickly. So, like as they go, so what's happening? So it seems like it, even even if the effect was not immediately noticeable, try and pick me up. No, I think I think the outcome here is that it would be it would be visible in some way. So wait a second. Um, he said the thing about canceling each other out. So what if we did a thing and it was the exact opposite? Yeah, my yeah. thoughts exactly. I think we accidentally created a combination that cancelled itself out. What are the things that- So, it cancels out- So, if Lizard's Leg, if you were saying, was an intelligent, um, boosting a ingredient, then Blind Worm's thing was an uh, intelligent, uh, dimming, uh, mm. ingredient. I didn't feel dumber. I think we're too early on to be able to tell anything specific. Perhaps we just try another random combination? Does anyone have any- I'm going to, uh, again, try and, like, cheat and look at what Talon Scroop is doing yeah, to cool. see what effect uh, that had. Are you trying to do it subtly? Yeah, I think I, like, I, 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 I go, um, I think I'll just, I'll try it again, just maybe it didn't, maybe we made it, we didn't put enough in of each one, and then I take it, and I'm going to feign, like, feeling very unsteady, like, like, unbalanced. Um, like, like trying to feign, feign that my dexterity was oh, yeah. like reduced. Yeah. I'd be like, well, I feel the world is spinning. Ah, and I fall over onto, well, not that glass, fall over onto their table and, and then I'm going to try and like peek. Okay. Would this be performance or deception? I feel like it's deception, deception. probably. Yeah. Let's go deception. Cause you're, 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 you're telling a lie to try and. Yeah. I'm not, doing. I'm not yeah. trying to be captivating. I'm trying yeah. to be, you yeah. know, yeah. You do hear. A voice from the front of the classroom. Then you see, um, you see, uh, Lab Master Boyle is is writing a bunch of things up on the board, um, but you hear him say, "Mr. Barlinson, please keep your work to yourself." And you see that there is an eye on the back of his head that is just a, a glassy black eye watching you. I just, I like uh, as I as I as I fall, I just fall, and then I just crawl like i just slide back over to our table and just re-emerge going are you okay yeah i'm, I'm fine don't worry about it um Thank you. should we should we try again <laughs> yeah sure uh now what that was that was nothing okay okay you know in and out of character that was nothing um so <laughs> let's try let's try something random again maybe what do you think? we go for things that are as, as uh, lizards um uh, uh, kind of look a little wormy so maybe uh, s snakes and and owls are pretty different. Mm. As good logic as any. I don't have any other ideas. Do you, Milo? No. I mean, I should have paid attention to Nan. Um, let's go. Yeah. I, I mean, my 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 father was an accomplished baker. I feel like maybe I've noticed some uh, herb seasoning that potentially, you know, had some effect. I don't know. Looking at you like perhaps my plus one in crafting might come in handy. I mean, you're I, to let me Let me, yeah, yeah get, uh, let's I give it a go. I did it with nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like it, we've all got to try it at least once. Yeah, okay. So what do you have? A plus one. Plus one. I'm trying not to metagame because, uh, you know. Mm. I mean, Gianni's, Gianni's a poker face master anyway. I know. You have, I uh, but I'm deliberately can't. not going to try and read him. You know that the Eye of Newt gives you a penalty to strength? Yes, um, I distinctly remember him making a batch of uh, cheesy scrolls for some sailors one time, and apparently it didn't work so well. Uh, they had a bad time with the ropes. So I think Eye of Newt maybe is uh, lowers your strength. Well, I could try that one um, with something else. Maybe that with, with the... What about Eye of Newt with Toa Frog? Because... Oh, I don't want to eat that. <laughs> no, we, we would Even though that, that one's... That one's uh, I, just... I know it's just a name. But... I know, but they're both amphibious. Oh, no, like... we should maybe try different things so we get a oh, bigger yeah. okay. difference. What well, about what... Owlet's Wing then? Because they're quite different. That's pretty different. You're okay, right. so let's, let's go. Those together. Okay. Uh, so, I have Newt, an owl at swing. Great, you put them together, um, it boils into a thick skin over the top of the the, um, the water Why? that starts to like rise with the steam, and then uh, a single hole appears in the top and it just deflates back down and the skin sinks and you just get like this weird tumultuous uh, broil of water with skin in it. That's Fra a nice chowder. Uh, fragrant. And who's drinking it? Me, I'm a spoonful. Cool, uh, you drink it. And you feel 
that your muscles start to atrophy a little bit. So again, it becomes like a little bit harder to hold like your your head up and your arms up. Um, but you feel peaceful. Like you feel like you understand things around you better. That like really that nice. it doesn't matter that What's like that you're like? feeling strange, but um, you seem to just like get a better understanding of everything that's around you. Wiser, perhaps, mm. maybe. <laughs> that's what I mean. Yes, explicitly, it's wisdom. It's wisdom, yeah, not intelligence. It's, it's, yeah. it's, the, it's the best way I can narrate wisdom <laughs> as Look, a feeling. <laughs> that would smart, but in like a crunchy hippie sort of way. Yeah. I mean, I would never describe beetroot as ever being smart, but I would describe beetroot occasionally as finding peace. Um, and you see that uh, it- beetroot's eyes are sort of like sparkling a little bit, like a you know constellation um, across mm. her her irises. Mm. And that's the only physical effect. I mean, I probably a- feel as- aesthetically yes. Um, I kind but- of probably change my yeah. posture. Oh, you have kind en- of- yeah. you have enchanting eyes, beetroot. That's really nice of you to say. Mm. Thank you. Do you notice any other effects as well? I sort of I don't feel sort of like after I've um, done a lot of things and then the next day um, it, it's just kind of I don't want to do anything. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't feel very strong, I guess. But that's okay. I don't, I don't need to be strong all of the time, I guess. Yeah. Well... It's your turn. Oh boy. Uh, toe a frog and we'll off bat. It starts to hum as you put the, the um, liquid. These are purely aesthetic, by the way. There's mm. no significance to look for in the um, the actual reaction. Mm-hmm. Um, but the liquid starts to vibrate and hum and it starts to form like, you know, those shapes as the as the water starts to- It's doing like ferrofluid stuff. Yeah, that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, then, and then it turns a, a, a sickly lime green and then slucks t- still. Mm. Um, and as you drink it- What does it taste like? It tastes like uh, key lime pie. Aww. Yeah! Love Yum. that. And it's, uh, you start to see Milo's muscles start to grow and pulse. Yeah! Um, and uh, Milo, you start to get like feathers growing out of your shoulders um, as, as that happens. Um, but as you do, uh, the feathers start to get really scraggly and like fluffy and then they start to like take over your face and you start to like s- smell like dirty bird um and <laughs> um and uh like ibis uh unwashed ibis from a tree is what you smell like so explicitly strength gained and charisma lost oh i feel great i have power what? Why is, why, is he, why are you making that face? Do you, do you know, honestly, I don't know that it registers above the usual for Milo. Um, I've seen how you keep your room. It sort of <laughs> reminds me of when I'm mucking out the stables, I guess. Do I smell it? You don't smell it. You smell great. You smell fine. Yeah, of course. Um, You look great. Yeah. You yeah. look great. I look great. You look great. Yeah, it looks like you've been really working out. Uh, I haven't. <laughs> definitely need definitely need to see Lab Master Boyle about the aromatics after class, though. Um, but you look great. Well, what um, about- so, so one thing I sorry to interrupt. The, the one thing I do want to like help um, solidify is that when you mix those two things together, if there's um, it doesn't mean that they're both positives to strength, mm. right? Yeah, that's, it's just a possible. It's a possibility that one of them is a is a positive to strength, and one of them is a negative to strength. And if there's only two effects, it means that there's mm. a positive and a negative cancelling out. Okay. Okay, so we have more deduction to be doing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. Does that make sense? Because like they're not known. It's out of those two things, you're getting. You could be getting four possible effects if none of these things interact. But if there's a positive and a negative, they will cancel out, and you'll get just the positive and just the negative. And right, right, right. We could try um, lizard's leg and adder's fork and then tongue of dog and blind worm sting together rather than these two because we've we've kind of got information that these two cancel whatever it is out um, mm. and we don't... So- also, these two happen to be perfect opposites and so that will then be more illuminating when we try things against them. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but we could give that a go. That was very smart. You- that makes that does make sense. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of making less sense now. That just it was the <laughs> thought that I had before. Um, anyway, let's give it a go. All right. Let's. I, I mean, I'll try the lizard's leg and the adder's fork. I think it's my turn, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. It turns into a complete solid, like concrete. It just sets, 
and then it just I slowly it. starts to what? I, I poke it. You poke it when when you poke it, it, it pokes back, mm. and then it just starts to melt back into a into a. Why did you do that? A, a, a gritty liquid um, for you to consume. Texturally challenging. I mm. can do that one if you want. No, no, no. I said I'd do it. I guess it tastes like another p- kind of pie. Okay, so I, I hope so. Uh, what does it taste like? Uh, smelly feet mixed with mango. That's a lot. That's a real mixed bag. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, pie. Um, so yeah, no. As you as you consume it, um, you start to see Kellen's skin just start to sparkle a little bit in a in a. In a very pleasant. Way. Oh no, I'm a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, the skin of a killer. <laughs> um, and uh, Kellen, you also feel quite nimble. You feel like uh, everything's moving a little bit slower, and you can kind of just like pick things up and move things around without any issue. Um, however, your your conscience, uh, your consciousness cut starts to like numb a little bit, um, and not only do you uh, struggle to kind of like form sentences in your head, but you also seem to be like less aware of your surroundings. And Entirely. Yeah. Um, so Kel- Kellen is like, oh, I feel that's very. <laughs> he, you look really good. I I good. Yeah. I good. You good. Feel feel good. <laughs> Think interesting because you said the lizard's leg was boosting intelligence you said it made made you smarter that was the thing that you you remembered right that was your hypothesis uh and those two canceled each other out so maybe i'm remembering it wrong maybe it it was the other way around but that's what i thought but if we i'm thinking how did i end up with a negative effect um to my intelligence if Mm. i took it and you said i I, maybe you were incorrect maybe that yeah look i'm i i'm not really good at this so that's not surprising. Um, why don't we try that last combination? Yeah. How many have we tried now? That's four. That's four. So we've only got we've only got one, one more. more. So you have one free guess remaining, um, and then you're going to start to eat into your mm. potential winners. Well, we need to find out what the tongue of dog does. Well, well should we combine it with the blind worm sting? I'm, I can drink that one. Yes, let's do it. All right, okay. blind worm sting combined with tongue of dog. Like a rainbow. Um, iridescent glow um, of, of rainbow spectrum starts to glow out of the cauldron. I bet it just tastes like caramel. Um, and then the colours pale very quickly into a stodgy, moss-like mixture. Um, and as you eat it, uh, it tastes like urine. Um, I won't put it any other way. As you eat it, you start oh. to grow um, hair over your body. You feel your fingers start to like grow into like long sort of... Uh, Always with the talons. Um, And uh, you feel yourself getting stronger. Mm -hmm. And uh, you start to feel a little clumsy as a result because your your hands and limbs are starting to get big and and muscular. Um, And I will draw your attention to the fact that um, one of your your mutagens has this exact pairing of effects. Strength and reduces dexterity. Bestial. We've made a bestial. You've discovered... The bestial mutagen. Oh, yay! Hell yeah! yeah. But we we that don't... means we've got one more actual but, experiment go. But it means we don't know what the other effect was that got cancelled out potentially. Right. And so well, okay. So they could outside so, of beetroot head. Can I do that outside? Let's meta game. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think like we've done like good kind of role playing of that stuff to get through here. But I think from now you can kind of just make yeah. calls. We know that we've got positive to strength and, and reduction to dex, dex, but we don't know which side the yeah. positive and which side the negative came from. Yeah, yeah. But you think of the lizard's leg. You think you remembered it incorrectly. Yes, I think that this. The lizard, okay. So therefore, this lowers int. Therefore, this raises int. Okay. So int, int possibly plus in blind worm sting and int possibly negative in tongue of dog. If that's therefore the hidden that, effect that got cancelled out. And then that out. cancels each other out. Mm, I see. I see. And so then one of them, if that's the combination, therefore then this enhances strength and this reduces dex. Which, okay, which, that 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 would make sense. If, which if then we're confirming that would cancel out with the lizard's leg. Int, goes out there. Uh, well, but that would make Dex pos- the positive effect of Lizard's Leg, which got cancelled out, because if that's Dex, bl- in Blind Worm Sting was the negative effect, mm. and Int was the positive effect, then Lizard's Leg is the opposite. Mm. Indeed. Yes. Which would make this a plus to Charisma, and this a neg to Wisdom. So, 
we've got a lot of information to sift through just and we, now. And because we accidentally created one, we've still got one, because we've now still got five mixes left. So we have one and free go. Yes. Okay. But is there anything from here that we can make as a combination to... Reducing wisdom hmm. is a mm -hmm. thing for Juggernaut. Okay. But to use Adder's Fork, we, it would have to have a neg to charisma. Um which we thought might be one of these two, right? The Tongue of Frog or the Wool of Bat, because the positive effect we got was positive to strength and the negative effect we got was a negative to charisma, which would be required to get mm. this cancellation, which means one of these potentially has a positive to con, which we didn't observe because they canceled each other. So if we try one of these with the Addis Fork, we potentially will find the right one. Yeah that cancels out the charisma effect and gives the plus to con and the minus to whiz. Yeah, which will give us a juggernaut, Indeed. potentially. Now, that all could have been wildly off base, and I'm deliberately not looking at Gianni, because uh, those faces will mean nothing to me, and I will freak out otherwise. Well, we've now tried all of the different things, and we've got effects for all of them. Does that line up uh... with you? Look, I roleplay a smart person. <laughs> 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 so I'm going to start grabbing things and being like, oh, yes, I think yeah. I've got this. So um, I think... So are we... you going to choose Wool of Bat or... Yeah, I think, for, I think for I'm going to mix... Um, uh, let's try the Toe Frog um, here. And I just start grabbing stuff and I mix a, a concoction, which is Adder's Fork and Toe of Frog. Uh, and then I'm just going to hand you the spoon and be like, here, bottoms up. No. But it's your turn. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Yeah, the the mixture bubbles away. Um, and uh, Adder's fork and toe of frog. What's it taste like? Uh, it tastes like uh, boiled leather. Um, it's so, great. So, uh, <laughs> hey, that was your childhood. <laughs> uh, Milo, you get buff again. Uh, your hair grows into a luscious, uh, beautiful mane. Uh, that makes you quite beautiful. Um, however, you feel a bit silly and um, a bit uh, unaware of your surroundings, uh, lowering whiz, uh, and you also start to shrink a little bit and uh, look a little bit sickly, lowering con. Mm. Okay. okay, so this is this is potentially uh, lowering con. Isn't but it? then we've confirmed. The, I feel like these, no. these are confirmed, yeah. right? So then this so. is gonna be plus to strength yeah. and neg to con, which means the correct combination is actually this one. Yeah. To make that other that last mutagen. All right. Do we want to try that one as well? We're now does, into our. Does my hair fall out to get shorter again? Um, yeah. I, what's the process of reversal of all of I these? Do they just re replay backwards in time? Because I grew hair all over my body, so does yeah, it recede it would, back it would, into my skin? It would probably. Ah, it probably fall slough out. off. I feel like it falls fall off. Out, like yeah. so. So 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 yeah. we're 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 all mixing these things, and some students are like yeah. screaming or like getting real buff and stuff, and then just building up around us is sort of a, a, a mixture of Debris. scales Heritonous. and horns um, and or, or, organic off off uh, offshoots. That's yeah. real fucking gross. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the lab master's just walking around with like a little dustpan, just like. <laughs> yeah, one one hand is do going like this, checking his notes, yeah. checking people's <laughs> notes, and the other two are just like sweeping. But I feel like he's collecting that for ingredients for later. Oh, I putting, mean, it, putting it in jars. So, like, there's a there's a there's a there's a hair dust, of gnome. <laughs> there's a dustpan with like several like uh like compartments, and he's sweeping them into each compartment. Yeah, mm. yeah. Should we go ahead and just make this one? Just to have it in the bank, test. Yeah. yeah. So that'll be juggernaut defs. So that that will be enhances con, reduces whiz. So what are you combining? Adder's fork and wool of bat. Mix it together. That's three. Mm -hmm. Well, I made you drink the last yeah. one, so it tastes like burnt hair. Um, and as you drink it, uh, you grow in size a little bit and feel heartier and healthier. I feel vital. Um, uh, wow. Very, very vital, uh, and uh, you feel a little bit um, unperceptive as a result. Mm, I feel, so I, feel I feel, dropped. I feel good. Um, I have some pretty outdated opinions about things, <laughs> uh, but I feel very good. Yeah, um, and you have successfully brewed the juggernaut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell, hell yeah. yeah. Okay, so we need something that greatly enhances intelligence. Do we have two positive intelligence ones yet? But blindworm sting needs to combine with something else that boosts intelligence but lowers strength. And I feel like that's going to be one of these two, mm. either Owlet Swing or I have Newt. Um, but we don't have any way to get data on those without it being a coin toss still. I suppose we I just coin toss then. 
So what, which one do we go? What, what, what goes with Blind Worm Sting? Blind Worm Sting. The coin! The coin! The coin! All right. Uh, yes, I'm going to go Owlet's Wing. No, I have Newt. I have Note. I have Note. It's a yes! <laughs> Me going for the flip in the hand. You just yeet on the table. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we mix Blind Worm Sting and Owlet's Wing. You feel... Uh, the same clarity that you had before, mm -hmm. and your eyes sparkle again. Um, and you also feel clumsy. Reducing dex. But that is it. Unfortunately, that means we. Uh, Fortunately, that is not a mutagen. That's so we can't mutagen make, make all of them yeah. now. Okay, so you feel you feel clarity. So that's mm. a plus to wisdom, and you feel clumsy. So that must be a neg to int. So that's the neg to int one, mm -hmm. and wisdom on that one. So that would make that the cognitive mutagen. So we 50 50 the wrong way. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, well. Wow. Um, but we can make that. Yeah, let's do mm -hmm. it. Great. You Blind can... one Sting and I have Newt. Blind one Sting and I have Newt. You combine them together. It tastes like... Oh, it's your turn, Milo, too. A summer's breeze. Um, and it uh, combines, and you feel like your muscles are getting smaller. You feel clumsy. Um, but, boy, you just get everything you are so smart right now you just like, like fall over but then yeah. your eyes are doing the like numbers <laughs> thing as you're yeah. like, i perceive I understand the it all. Yeah. Quick, but i am <laughs> quick while you're down there uh, what are the other combinations yeah. quick while it lasts <laughs> figure it out quick. Scan it. Um, well do we only have one go left now who has you them? have one catalyst left yeah yeah and we've and we've got two that we need to well i feel like we know enough now to make everything we just can't so what's positive to intelligence but lowest constitution would be the other one. Oh, well, we don't have anything that's positive to intelligence but lowest constitution. Which means we can't make the quicksilver one. Maybe, but can we make the silver tongue one? Maybe... Maybe it's... Tricky. So it enhances, enhances charisma, reduces intelligence. So that would be those two. Owlet Swing and Addis Fork would make silver tongue, but maybe we can't make quicksilver. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on, I take two spoons. Uh, of the yeah, I sit I sit down yeah. uh, in my chair and I go. Hang on a sec, and then yeah. I take like triple the recommended dose of the cognitive one, and I just yeah. go. Cool. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> um, you have some weird memories of the 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 le lesson play back to you in that in that limitless moment, <laughs> um, and you remember the uh, lab master saying each mutagen requires at least two of the eight ingredients that I have provided on your bench. At least. Mm. It's three ingredients. Wait a minute, yeah. Hang on a sec. Um, so we need a double cancel to happen here. Yeah. So we need, what we need, if we have a positive dex here, what we need at the end is a negative to con. So what we need is something that uh, enhances um, intelligence, but lowers strength. Ah, oh, we have it. Excellent. That's the three. Because the decks, the ints and the the ints and the strengths cancel each other out and we're left over with the decks and the con. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, it is so smart. Hey. I look honestly, I I <laughs> I feel very very weak still. I'm possibly going to throw up in a moment. Um, but I think I figured it out. Uh, it's it's these three here. It's toe frog, I've newton lizard's leg because they cancel each other out like this. Now if you look, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you mixing those three? Yeah. Yep. Yep. And who's sampling it? I, I did just gone. overdose on cognitive yeah. mutagen, so I would like to ask <laughs> that I take a break if I'm that's okay. I'm happy to take that one. Yep. Um, so beetroot. Oh, first of all, it tastes like um, tastes like hot metal. Um, so blood. Yeah, basically. Um, and you uh, suddenly feel very fast, um, but Jeez. quite frail. Meaning you have successfully made the Quicksilver mutagen. Yay! Da -da 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 -da. So you got four out of five. Well done. How 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 well were you expecting us to do? I mean, that was ballpark. Like five was going to be exceptional. Like you had no no room for error with five. But Ran I think random you're... randomness aside, we did as optimally as we could yeah. with that yeah. decision making. But then making. we yeah. have enough information that we would know what to make the silver tongue. Yeah, we're going to put those two but ingredients was... there yeah. and be like, <laughs> <laughs> wait, do I? 
Do you want to steal some catalyst from you, someone else's hang table? Hang on, I go, I go, Beatrice, could you just, uh, uh, just cover your ears, if that's okay. Okay. Um, now, my, do we steal a catalyst? Um... I'm not supposed to I'm possibly also I'm realizing that Mitra just did exactly as I asked that any question and now I'm feeling very guilty like this feels bad what I'm doing mm. what and I we... don't know whether we should actually could I make a catalyst is that possible like Ooh. interesting I'm, question while you're metagaming my hands are off but no no um hmm. yeah I, I think I think I say uh, that's enough for Beatrice. Thank you. Do um, you think you potentially oh, okay. also? I'm sorry, could I can't figure tell out you how to do it. You'd have to work quickly though, um, if you want it to actually distill in time. Hey, we got a we got a small sampler left of that cognitive mutagen. If you wanna, if you wanna get on the, let's do it. Also, if I if there is some left of the cognitive mutagen, I'll drink it and then try and make. Yep. Um, you will need things from the supply cabinets in order to make this. So maybe we get some ingredients. Are you out already? No, yes. <laughs> oh, I did. You must have been trying a lot. I, I well, I. <laughs> Small batches, yes, go get some it's more. It's embarrassing, but I, I thought perhaps because we got the cognitive mutagen quite early on, I thought perhaps if I made more, it would help us figure out the other ones. It just made me very sick, and now we've run out of the other. Yes, I told you to yes. make small doses. I'm sorry. Yes. That's no, that's on me. No. I know I, I didn't follow your instructions, so I apologize right. for that. All right, All right so, so with a plus eight to craft. That's 18. Um, if there's any bonuses. Uh, Do you? From your in total? Or? This is in total yep. from my standard. But then have you drunk more of that? I have drank more of that. That's a good point. So you would get a plus two bonus on this. So it'll be a 20. Uh, yes. You, have, you managed to distill another dose of the catalyst. <gasps> okay. Oh, amazing. Okay. Yep. Um, I'm very sorry. I have to apologize. I was going to commit crimes behind your back after asking you to. Uh, this is what I'm fessing up. I'm having a character moment here, okay? Okay. I just felt really guilty. I shouldn't have asked you to do that. We're a team here, and just because you have a different moral compass in the moment to me doesn't mean that I should. But you didn't do anything wrong, did you? No, I had a moral. I had a bit of an internal cr- moment of weakness. <laughs> Everyone has moments of weakness. It's just if you don't act on them, then actually that makes you stronger than someone who didn't have a moment of weakness because it takes strength to overcome the things that are inside you. I just knew I was smart enough to make another I don't. List. We don't deserve you as a friend, B. <laughs> we don't. You're too kind. <laughs> Five minutes left. <laughs> Five <You> minutes. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? All right, Five last minutes. one. We need. What, what did we get before? We, got- uh, we need to make silver tugs. We need to enhance charisma and lower intelligence. So we need the one that enhances charisma here uh, and lowers wisdom, and the one that enhances uh, lowers intelligence but enhances wisdom. So that would be Owlet Swing. Does that look correct? Uh, wisdom. Yep. Cancel. Excellent. Yep. So Owlet Swing and Addis Fork. Uh, you drink it. Uh, it tastes like cherry. Um, and yes. oh, nice. I get the good ones. <laughs> yeah. um, and you suddenly feel uh, more attractive, um, but a little bit stupid. <laughs> yeah. Meaning you have successfully brewed the silver tongue. Check out Himbo Milo. <laughs> <laughs> I feel weird. I you, feel so weird. Because I, I value my intelligence so much. But you look really good. Thanks. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Kellen's like uh, a gas. It wore off. <laughs> <laughs> wow, short half life on that one, huh? Yeah. The landmaster rings a little bell um, and he goes, All right, time's up. Please present your mutagens to the front of your bench. Um, and uh, you put your little test tube rack forward. Um, and he goes through assessing everyone's uh, little collections. Uh, he starts off with um, Talon, Pit, and Juniper. They got, um, they got three out of the five. Um, and then the others. Four out of five. There's a group that got none uh, coming around. Um, Do they all look like just thoroughly? The, yeah. Well, yeah. Is yeah. that the yeah. screaming one? Yeah. 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 <laughs> one of them's just going away in a stretcher. Yeah. It's like, oh, there's one every um, class. And uh, it comes around to you um, and uh, assesses them all, pops the cork, sniffs them, um, and then goes, five out of five, everyone. You can learn from these lot, especially about how they uh, can. Uh, Refine their own catalysts. Yeah. Gives you a wink and uh, <laughs> that, <laughs> that, 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 that gives you a wink and then a fourth eye on the side. <laughs> yeah, closest as well. Just, a, just like, yeah, it's, like yeah. it's always another eye. Yeah. Um, and 
<laughs> nope, nope, no. Nope. A bit of body horror in there, man. I mean, just with beetroot had been de-eyeing the potatoes before, and it has just a horrific <laughs> mental image right now. A lot of eyes this session. Yeah. Um, <laughs> why are you surprised? <laughs> this um, is your fault. And he he says, "All right, you all get a payout equal to your performance, uh, and you all get four lumens on your um, devices. Hang all bing, 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 bing. four for the for four out of five. Five payout four equal to our performance. Payout respective of your performance, not equal to every year. Uh, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Sorry, you, there, there were threshold." The word equal yeah. was confusing to yeah, me. Sorry. That's, <laughs> well, apologies. Yeah. Four. You will get. Uh, that's the most you've ever received in one go. Yeah, yeah so that's, that's a that, chunk. That, don't be disappointed. We got that's... three for one thing, but that yeah. was. Yeah. All right. That's uh, all time we got today. Uh, but you can uh, uh, take home the uh, the mutagens that you brewed uh, as your own little presents to uh, do with as you see fit. Hopefully responsibly. <laughs> uh, that's quite a lot of mutagen you're letting us take <laughs> it, home. It's it's one dose each. Like it's not okay. Um, right. the, the, it's it's the samples that you poured out, not the actual brews. Yeah. Um. So you have those to take home, and uh, I'll I'll see you all for the next class, uh, and then um you hear a um, we don't have to divvy these up now. Uh, Milo has handed me uh, Lucas handed me the quicksilver. Yeah. One and I got and the bestial. And yeah. I get the last. Really? <laughs> hey, um, you need it, buddy. Good you. Uh, you have them. Look, this might help with my my work. <laughs> this might help me with my studies. Can we met? Can we meta mutagen? Yeah. Can we mute a mutagen? <laughs> you hear someone go, "Sir," um, and he oh, looks no. over, um, and you see that uh, Juniper is looking like quite no, sickly. We weren't um, keeping an eye on Juniper. The, the other two <laughs> are terrible kind of like, parents. Are kind of like checking like the the things and like going through it. Um, and uh, Juniper has a third eye that's opened on his his forehead, <laughs> um, and he goes, "I don't know if this one's wearing off, sir." Um, and the the landmaster goes, "Oh." There's always one. Um, and he goes, right, I'm going to take this lad up to the infirmary. Everyone pack up your stuff quick, smart, and get out of here, please. Um, and, We've broken our sworn vow to protect Juniper. Um, and he he shuffles over and, and um, helps Juniper up and um, helps him out of the class. Does Juniper gets a ride on the crab tour. <laughs> is he just is yeah. he just a bit disoriented yeah. because of the like the, the, the vision the just extra, fully being rewritten yeah. in his brain? Yeah. Um, and, uh, you're left the classroom with, like, uh, with, with the, the teacher gone, um, Juniper gone, uh, and all the other students start to pack up their things and pack up their stations. Um, so what would you like to do? What, what is this end of day, start of day? Like, where are we at? Uh, let's, let's call it like mid afternoon. Like mm -hmm. Do we have any more class yeah. for uh, the day? No, okay. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I know, uh, I would like to explore these tunnels. I, I'm just saying, they, they do look rather... Uh, I hear there's a monster that needs to be killed because it keeps eating people. Well, that makes me less... In I, I was not... I'm sorry, what? Haven't you heard the rumour that there's a monster in the lower halls that eat, eats people? I was kind of... I thought it would be really good to kill it if oh. we found it. Are they not... Were these perhaps some Talon-like individuals that perhaps a little less than open-minded about our wonderful lab master? Um, well, I don't know, maybe, um, they just said people disappear and probably a monster, so... People going missing in the tunnels. But I don't know, they haven't had any, like, missing posters up or anything, so... I feel like, as, as students of an academy, uh, which ostensibly has people in charge of our safety, although one of them is a bastard, um... Mm -hmm. That's the sort of thing we would have been really to cause for concern. What if there's more Glacian things down there? That could be interesting. I'm concerned that perhaps... Because there were monsters when we went there. Do you know what? I'm just, I feel like we should have a look around anyway. Let's do it. Yeah. Is there... Mm, I feel like we're going to get lost. Is there like... Thread. Thread. Or Breadcrumbs. It's been, crumbs. it's been, it's I mean, been, you have a whole bunch of ingredients in this. Yeah, I in want this now school unsupervised of spider's room. web. Oh, you are giving us an opportunity to do crimes. I'm not suggesting anything. <laughs> I want to steal spool of spider's why, web. Why spider's web? Why not grab some, like, something that's luminescent? That's a good point. I mean, like, it's just, it's just the first thing that came to mind. <gasps> what about the book? Oh, curious. The first edition. 
I feel like the the implication there was that there were some incorrect uh, recipes that potentially resulted in some undesirable effects. I'm gonna. What makes? Okay, out of character. What makes you suspicious about the book? If Conrad had it. Mm. Didn't we? I'm gonna go through the book. Is there any mention of the potion that I have, like of second edition? Slipstream. Slipstream. Um, in the book. There's a reason uh, that Conrad specifically had that book. No. Yes. Calamitous Cauldrons. Yeah. yeah. First edition. No, nothing at Kept all. Kept from the library. Did he have a first edition? Maybe. Yes. Oh, and then, and then you think Juniper ended up with it by mistake. Or oh, there might, might be just... another first edition somewhere floating around, and when the li- when it was returned to the library, they were like, "Ooh, yeah, we really need mm. to make sure we've got all the first editions." Oh, the books were provided. We didn't get those books no, ahead books of time. Are, books are provided. Yeah. Okay. So there are a couple of first editions floating around, and for some reason, Conrad specifically kept that one out of the library, not a second edition, because he'd had that one for a while, and it wasn't like, "Oh, I'm just gonna." He was like. If I give this back to the library, I'm not going to get it back. So, I mean, yes, I see your point. Um, I, I don't know that we've discussed. Have we discussed this ahead? Are we read no, that no. we've talked about this? this because me Kellen, like, Kellen's like now. first edition. That's cool. Mm. Um, because, Be true. It's just like it's a book. Yeah. But. So the outcome of that conversation is that we're not doing that. I feel like. I feel like we should the now. Fig. Yeah, now I'm in this yeah, weird zone. I've, this is like Milo will push that and be like, "That's weird." I mean, we're the thing is that we're in a yeah. unsupervised class. Yeah. we also have no information like on this. Like, so do you do you remember that it was first edition? Like, because the I didn't retrieve that book. You were the one who retrieved that book. So yeah, so there might be a little Milo, thing of like Milo yeah, light bulb. Of, Milo with light bulb. He also already has like the potion. And so he'd probably be trying to, like, while he's here, he would be trying to figure out what it is. And specifically, we want to find, yeah. so so to be clear, we want to find the book that Conrad had and find mm-hmm. if the unknown potion that we have was in the book that Conrad had to kind of Which work out what his plan went was. into the lock. We could go to, or the library. But the um, lab master took the first edition that was on the table from um, Juniper and then put it into the lockbox. The lock box. We can just put it back. I mean, we're just going to look at it, right? Yeah, it's not about stealing it. It's just okay. If I mean, if we don't actually take it, it's not a crime, right? That's how that works. Mm. In character, then, what do mm. you say for that? Well, as we're all yeah. packing up, our now things. that we're packing up, we're packing up our books. Milo yeah. would be like, guys, I might have a chance to figure out what this is now. What uh, the the sorry the 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 potion the this slipstream is, slipstream. Oh. So you don't know what Milo took from that doesn't his have chest. a. Oh. Label. Conrad had Conrad had a stack of the little mercurial liquids in his chest with the the book with um, advanced alchemy, and then in his journal there was notes about slipstream. Okay, so all we have at the moment is something called and, slipstream and an unknown potion and an unknown potion and f- and and the fact that he was reading first edition. And Conrad's bad, and I don't like him. And we remember remember specifically that it was first edition. Yeah. Okay. So I would say we should have a look at Calamitous Cauldrons Volume 1, because clearly there's something bad about it, and Conrad has been... We should figure out what Conrad was up to, just for the sakes of looking out for ourselves. Well, reading books... Shouldn't ever be a bad thing, exactly. Right? Yeah, so we're just like maybe we just take a look behind that closed cabinet. See, and this is fine because all three of us are in on the crime, unlike last time. I've, I've, yeah, well, it's I not a crime, it doesn't really. sound like a. I mean, he put it away for our safety, but it's probably safer for us to know what that is, right? Mm. Mm. Especially mm. with Conrad about and gunning for us. Yeah. If you if you have pills, it's better to get them tested, right? right. Yeah, that makes sense. Exactly, exactly. If you don't know, what I don't know why I phrased it like that, but it just seems like that would if be. If you've got you something, know, if you've and got you don't an unknown know... substance, surely knowing is better than let's. Um... When everyone leaves the classroom and we are like slowly packing up, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you while you're sort of like stalling and waiting, you see Pitt um, is standing by the front counter looking at the cauldron um, 
that you first drank from. Um, mm, I'm gonna go up to do it. We, do we see that? Yeah. No, also, okay. Yeah, yeah, because he, yeah. he seems to be stalling as well. Like, ah. Mm. Maybe you go talk to him and we'll deal with... Okay, I'll go talk to Pip. Yeah, we try. I'm going to go over and talk I'll to come, Pip. I'll come with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, cool. Let's let's do you guys first. So... Um, yeah, we, 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 like, we, like, put our bags on yeah. or, like, put our stuff in our coats, which is what we actually do mm-hmm. um, in this fiction, and then walk over to the, like cabinets and are just kind of like talking about all the ingredients yeah. and like maybe looking at a notebook and being like oh that's what that looks like mm-hmm. you know the drawing doesn't really do it justice nope, not and then all. once everyone's filed out of the class we just whoop down the end of the cabinet with the with the book in it mm. yeah cool um it is locked well we're gonna uh, wait i feel like we're gonna just kind of okay you're, 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 just, with... you're just loitering well cool. pit's still obviously in the room so yeah. we would not move okay first. You, would, you wouldn't go okay sure that's fair yeah. um as you approach uh you see him dip a ladle into the into the liquid on the in the on the desk, um, and he pours it into a flask. Um, hey Pit, what did you think of that class? He is silent, and then he takes out another flask, pours it into that. It felt really good t- to be strong, didn't it? Um, and he stops both corks and he says. I've nothing to say to you. Why not? He starts to walk away. Hey, hey, hey buddy. If you're going to take them because you want to feel strong, it might be a good idea to also just take the thing that makes it better as well. Because <laughs> he said that it'll have a bad effect on your body and it wouldn't be good to do that. Uh, there is... Uh there is the the antidote was on the lab master it is not there anymore yeah. the the other mutagen that counteracts it yeah, yeah. Um, hey why are you here bit I, I know you don't have to explain yourself to me but why are you here here like academy here like what's what what do you want to be he looks at you Milo. he says ask him he turns and walks out What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Because he wants to be a luminary. He wants to be okay, big and strong. I super, I super duper want to like get get real deep into what is going on between you two. But we should do that after we commit this heist. You know. Um, so why don't we get back to that? I think we find plenty of impromptu stuff to. Yep, there's probably there's probably little things around. Um, tweezers. We fashion some lockpicks out of some like alchemical tweezers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can give it a go. You'll just have a penalty. Uh, yeah. yeah, it does look like a simple lock though. Like it's a just okay. lock yeah, and key. Look- yeah. Now, in order to complete this task, uh, perhaps it would be useful uh, to imbibe of something that enhances one's physical dexterity. Mm. <laughs> Um, Do we want to use it now? Such as a Quicksilver uh, a mutagen. That's a good point. Are you sure we want to use it now? Well, I just, I mean, any, I feel like I this mean, is if pretty, it's a perfect chance. Yeah, yeah it's right. a pretty high risk and I would rather it just go well. All right, well, it, we, it was given to you if you're okay with that. A hundred percent. Fantastic. All right. Well, <laughs> Unless anybody left theirs behind, but it all, uh, I don't know. Um, plus two, if it's the same as before, do a thievery check. Uh, so it's only a... Plus one modifier. Plus one. Because yeah. okay. the cognitive was greatly Extra. enhanced. Oh, greatly, yeah. Gotcha. All right, cool. Yeah, so we'll do a plus one. So that is... Ooh. That's a uh, nine. You want to hear a point? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Oh, wow. So, you so, still had one in the bank. Yeah. I didn't no, realize. I um, so, yeah, you're like it's really struggling, really struggling. Can't figure out how to, how to get it to open. Um, but... A moment like of of like uh pressure from the situation where it's like this is everything's culminating and like you got to get in here um gives you the sort of like extra focus you need to actually crack it um and you manage to and the lock pops up man would be proud okay quick let's look through the book yeah we don't have much time yeah cool um so you pull out the the um the first edition. first edition of Calamitous Cauldrons, um, and you recognize that as the same cover that um, that Conrad had. It yeah, the so, straight index. So yeah, trying to look for differences yeah. between the two yeah. to well, see where it's been changed. Yeah, we'll try. We, we should try look for that. 
potion first. Um, slipstream. And then you start to hear a thump. He's coming back. The same thump that you heard before. Oh coming God! Back. Okay. I don't, In- I don't, no, we can't. We can't. No, we can't. I'm sorry. We've we've gotten into enough trouble as it is. We can't do this. I'm just gonna quickly look to the back of the page, back of the book, to see if there's an index page. I'm gonna go distract whoever's no, coming. No, no, no. no. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Sure. If you want to, I probably don't get a chance to stop you. So index oh, page. No. Okay. You so we are looking. Yeah. You yeah. turn to the index page, um, and you're scanning Slip. down, scanning down, scanning down. Um, there is no mention of the word slipstream anywhere. Okay. We just have to start scanning to see if we can find something that's changed. It's a big book, but I, I don't know. Let's just yeah. look page by page and see if any of the wording is different. If we cool. just scan. Tony, you, you start to feel like the, the wind that came in from before, which you now recognize as being pressure from some of the doors. I'm opening. slamming yeah. it shut and I'm going to put it No, wait, 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 wait. Um, um, He's not hello. at the doorway to clarify. He's, you can just hear. Yeah. Coming. Yeah. While, while that's going on, I'm like, I know we just got all these. Give me the cognitive mutagen. Let's burn it. Let's do it. Let's find this thing. Do you want the answer hello, or not? Hello, sir. I'm feeling very sick. Um, and from outside, you guys hear this echoing voice of Milo, and then you hear, Oh, hello? Hi, how are you? You lost. Uh, no, I'm feeling rather ill. I, I, you as well? Yeah, I... What's wrong? I... 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 Give me a performance check. Or deception. Uh, this would, this yeah. would have to be deception. Your choice. Your choice. Okay. Um, so... Beetroot at this point is like, I want to put the book, book back. I'm still looking. I'm like, yep. uh, uh, yeah. we'll get it back in. Don't worry. We've got another moment. Yeah. So it's like identical page, identical page, identical page, identical page, identical page. It's all 11. 11? Wow. Um, oh, I think someone's got the bad case that doesn't want to go to the next class by the sounds of it. Oh, I've seen people want to go to the infirmary before. Oh, no, it's like Please that big <laughs> Uh, what? <laughs> oh, my lord. Um, and then you're turning, you're turning. All right, off you get. Scram, scram. I have, I have so many questions. Oh, I've got to back up the class. Uh, um, and then uh, it's identical page, identical page, identical page, mismatch page. Okay. Um, shit. Uh, Rip it. Yeah, I think he rips the page out from the first edition. Yep. Um, no, no, like, up. like tries to get it close, as close to the spine as possible. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah. it doesn't look like it's been torn. Somewhere, somewhere, Melville goes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Before I'm like, so okay, sorry. like beetroot, just like, and immediately go, slams go, go, it go, go, shut go, go, and go, go, puts go. it in the thing. Uh, uh, and then um, I feel like I w- uh, grab you and just like drag us both. Like, Padlock. A pat- mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, and then like run, run, <laughs> you were like, ah. run up to the other end of the cabinet and just like skid to a stop and then be like, ah, trying not to be like. No, I'm going to the potion at the the front desk and I'm having a moral quandary now. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Are you doing that in character? I will be going to the. I'm not saying that to you, but wherever you're off to, okay. I'm going but, to uh, yeah, I probably dive up yeah, the yeah. up the, the thing in the doorway. Yeah. You hear? Oh, a couple of you still in there? Um. Um, lab master. Um, oh, everyone's gone. Oh, oh, sorry, I got distracted looking at the. Um, I have a question. Um, what's that? Well, it's just I don't. If if I saw someone take some of that potion that I took earlier today, um, what what are the bad things that would happen to them if they took it and then they didn't take the antidote that you gave us? Well, as with your uh, depends. Uh. Depends on how much they take. Because the thing is, like, normally your body, if it changes a little bit due to the effects of a mutagen, it's all right. It can, it can bounce back. But it's like, a, it's like a rubber band, you see. If you take a lot of it, that rubber band's going to get stretched and it might not go back to how it was. So uh, that's why I was telling you, let's take little doses. Um, what if someone had flasks of it? Ooh. Don't know. I'd love to see it myself, to be honest, for, for science. But, um, you know, wouldn't recommend it for anyone. You wouldn't... Um, would that? Would they get in trouble if you you knew who they were? And at that, like, you start to see, like, he starts to take it a bit more seriously and he's like, is there something you want to tell me? I, I just don't want anyone to get in trouble. But it, it's... If it's trouble one way and trouble the other way, I think this is probably the better trouble to be in, but it just, I just don't want... Be true. Who was it? 
Kellen is Kellen is like <laughs> freaking out. Kellen's like, what do I do in this situation? Um, oh, I'm still sick. Ah. <laughs> that's happening. Um, um, well, it's just that Pitt took s- some more of it, and I think it's because he's has things that he feels that he's not strong enough, and I know what that feels like, so I understand it, but I just don't want him to get into t- trouble with you for having taken it. Um, because it was left there and he's uh, not going to get in trouble, is he? He goes... I just, I'm worried that he's going to take it and then he's not going to take the thing that you gave us and then it's going to hurt him and, yeah. This is, this is, uh, this is my fault. I shouldn't have left the class as I revised. Um, look, I can't tell you what's going to happen, but, um, it's probably not good either way, um, but you did the right thing. His third arm comes and pats you on the shoulder and says, "You did the right thing, telling me, all right." But I think I have to go sort this out. It might be a good idea if there's um, some kind of academy counselor that he might benefit from talking to someone about it because that's what helped me when I was feeling like I wasn't strong enough. All right, thank you. Um, but you've got to scram now uh, because okay. I've got to. Yeah, sorry. We'll, we'll we'll make a move. Oh, um, I must. <laughs> I must. I must say. Uh, uh, I. I. Uh, quite impressed with the, the. Is that an effect you make with the wind when you come down the tunnels, or is that just a property of the air conditioning down here? It's very dramatic as an entrance. Oh yeah, you know sometimes just get a bit gassy. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. So it's not like. No, I'm just dressing with you. <laughs> right, uh, because as as I'm leaving, I'm like, okay, so it's not like you create any sort of like a aerodynamic slipstream behind you when you walk past. Gauging his reaction yeah. to see if that would like. Uh, okay, anything. give me a stiff check. Uh, it's a twenty. 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 Uh, seems to just wash over him. Okay. Seems doesn't doesn't no, ma- doesn't no mean a recollection from what you can tell. Yeah, from what I can see. Okay. What? Scram. Sorry, we'll scram. Yes, yep. yes, we should probably get my. He sounds ill. Let's get oh, you out there. Oh god! Oh no! <laughs> and with that, you run out of the lab master's classroom um, and into the corridors below the academy. And I think that's where we'll have time for today. Oh, god, there are so many. There's, yeah. there's so many threads from this. Like, I want to go check on Juniper in the infirmary. Yeah, mm. we need to sit you down and get some like answers because y'all got stuff going on. Well, you and well, you and you and Pitt have beef, um, and we need to work out well, we get, we'll get how there. to make you both vegan. We'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sorry, we interrupt. No, it's gonna be the um, do 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 do. But then that's not the thing that's in my head, is it? Da 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 da. Tasty, tasty, tasty beans. Oh my god! What? What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.